Hey guys, how are you doing? In this video, I will review the new LCR Precision Shannon Tweezers ST42 that was kindly sent by Shannon for this review. One of the most announced feature is its precision. It is even delivered with a calibration board to have the tweezers always well calibrated and precise. This tweezer will allow you to test the components directly on the board and it is able to read resistance, capacitance, inductance and you can even also test other components like LEDs or diodes. Before moving along, let me just take a few seconds to thank again all the viewers that have been collaborating with the channel by using the Tech Corners affiliate access links in AliExpress, Amazon and Banggood. Thank you so much for your support. And you, if you want to help also, it's easy. Just use one of these affiliate links before paying on AliExpress, Amazon, Banggood, and you'll be helping me to maintain the channel. You will pay exactly the same, but it will allow me to receive a very small but useful commission that it will help me with the channel cost. With that said, and without further ado, let me show you the highlight features. Let's start by see what comes in the bo in the box. Uh, the Shannon tweezers was delivered in this box. Let's open. It is delivered with this small leather uh, bag for storage. Uh, I already opened this to charge it, so don't get me wrong. Uh, let me just see. We have this nice bag where it starts. Inside we have a small guide to the menus. We have here all the menu function. It's all the instructions that come with the, the Shannon tweezers. The guide for the menu and how to work with it. We have this uh, precision calibration board also. Okay, I will show you how to use this. We have the tweezers and a small charging cable and that's it. Okay, regarding the tweezers, yeah, it seems robust, to be honest. We have here a small carved area for better handling. Yeah, it works okay. It, this is anti-slipping, something like that. The tweezers have a very large and robust uh, arms. Yeah, it will not wiggle or the y, uh, the y. Well, this is the X movement, and the the Y movement. You can see that only a small inclination uh, happens when you force it to the side. As you can see, my my finger was marked with this string I did to to make it. Uh, turn a bit to the, the side and you have a very sharp tip uh, two of them that will allow you to to grab uh, well the smallest components yeah I'm impressed yeah it will fit very well in your, in your hands you can also use it on the left side I will show you how but for the the people that use the left hand there is no problem yeah the first impressions are good quite robust it seems very well done this well thought okay let's power this on and see how it works okay so as i showed you before we have one two three four five main options in the menu and we have the measure with several sub menus 
uh, inside. Let's start by powering it up. As you can see, it has a, a nice contrast, uh, a nice screen. We have in here, let me just put this in auto, the ESR val values. We have the frequency of this, the, the test in here, the battery uh, indicator, charge indicator. If we are in series parallel, uh, and we have also here the excitation uh, voltage or the test voltage for the for this and we can change it like this for example this is 0 0.1 volts 0 0.5 volts and 1 volt it's the maximum for this so and also if you use the knob up you can change the frequency right now we have 120 hertz we change it 1 uh, kilohertz 10 uh, kilohertz and yeah and if we press it again ah 100 hertz 120 hertz 1 kilohertz and 10 kilohertz it those are the frequencies that you can use and yeah in here it will change automatically between the uh, capacitance resistance and inductance for example if you close the tweezers it will do a resistance test yeah and that's it to enter the menu you just press this knob you have the quick set as I told you the system on the top menus the measure and the shutdown and you can exit by pressing here or you just wait a few moments and the, it will close the menu from the top you have in the quick set so it, from the top you have the auto now it's the automatic mode the second parameters the model where you can select if you want this in auto para parallel or serial if you use this menu to the left you go back and you have also the exit this is the quick set menu we have the system menu in the system menu we can change the sound to on off or the level we can increase the level i don't know if you are able to to listen one cool thing is when you let me take out when you uh, exit the menus if you press again it will take you exactly to the same menu where you were. You have also the timeout. You can increase or decrease up to, I don't know, it's 200 seconds, yeah, never. I, I like to, to have this on 60 seconds. It will auto shut down after the 60 seconds. Uh, as you see, it goes directly where we were before. We have also the display. If you are right-handed, left-handed, and you can also control the contrast. Right now, I think it's the maximum. It's on level three. Uh, we are going there after. And let me see, we have also the service. In the battery, we have the battery voltage, as you can see, yeah, going back. Also the version of the firmware. Mine it's 144, I believe it's the last one and also the serial number uh, in the bottom we have also the DID number no idea what this is some info okay and yeah that's it let me see and in the service that's everything we have in the system sorry so in the measure we can choose the mode if it's auto LCR, if it is auto LCR, that's the one I want. Inductance, capacitor, or capacitance, the resistance. You can test also diodes, LEDs, and yeah, that's it. I will leave it in there. This is the default mode to, to enter when you start using the, the tweezers. Also, for defaults, we have auto frequency, 10 kilohertz, 1 kilohertz. I believe this should have also here the 100. Yeah. 
and we have also the level of the voltage uh, by default when you start using 0 0.1, 0 0.5 or 1 volt peak to peak and also the speed that you have for analyzing this signal uh, yeah you can activate the hold I want to hold right now uh, and when you the hold is activated you see here an H let me see I'm trying to close this yeah it will stay with the same with the value and what else we have also the calibration but the calibration I will show you how to calibrate this uh, ahead in the video and yeah that's it we have the shutdown when you press shutdown it will give you five seconds to cancel if you change your mind and also if you want to exit the menu just press here or if you are on the menu to the left it will exit the menu yeah that is that's it in ter the the menus that's the way it operates in terms of the operation outside the menus if you use the right or the left you can change the several modes right now we are we are in auto okay so we have the resistance mode the inductance mode uh, capacitance uh, also uh, zener diodes we have the S ESR uh, uh, mode also the diode mode open the uh, LED mode and resistance DC okay and again on auto but if you do to the other side it will navigate between the boats yeah that's it pretty simple to use let's start by calibrating the tweezers for that is delivered uh, this precision calibration board we have uh, several components on the board we have here a set of resistors these resistors are 0.1 percent error margin with 25 parts per million per uh, degree centigrade and over here we have those uh, capacitators electrolytic capacitators so, uh, tantalon also electrolytic we have here a capacitator in series with a resistor and over here we have I think a zender diode and a LED in here we have a inductor yeah and all of these to calibrate our board so let's do that for calibration let's start the board we have let's go here to measure and in measure we have here the call the first calibration that we can do it's the self calibration for that just press and wait a moment this is a, a process that will take about 30 seconds more or less it will test all the frequencies we are testing now 100 Hertz should be almost done just a moment 100 Hertz and yeah we are almost there okay so as you can see for that we have already the capacitance in 0 0.5 zero five it's almost zero if we test the resistance let me see yeah it's way below 20 that's the the value uh, 30 that's the value he considers for continuity so yeah it's pretty much uh, okay right now so now that we have the self calibration done we can also do the open calibration let's go again to the measure okay calibration and open just press okay it's a process very similar to 
do one before, but a little more faster. We already calibrated with the open and only missing the short calibration. For that, you have here on the board a short place. Just put the calibration there. Okay. And we have to go again to the calibration menu and short. And just wait a moment for the calibration to end. Okay, so right now we have our Shannon tweezers perfectly calibrated. Pretty easy as you can see. So now is the time to test on some components. Okay, let's start first by seeing what values we get uh, when we use the, the calibration board for testing. He detects immediately the, the value. As you can see, okay, this is 10 ohms, more or less, it's bouncing a little, yeah. So the second one, and I'm sorry if I fail here, because those are very small uh, holes to, to put the, the tweezers. We have 100 ohms, totally nailed, yeah. The next one will be okay 1k resistor totally nailed also and we have here 10k yeah perfectly calibrated we have also 100k very good and finally we have in the resistance this should be uh, 10k, I believe. Uh, no, uh, one amp, oh, one mega, one mega ohm. So this should be one mega ohm. Uh, yeah, almost there. It's bouncing a little, but yeah, very nice. Okay, so now let's see how it performs with the uh, capacitors. Let's start with one picofarad. Okay, it is a little over uh, one picofarad, it's 1.48. Okay, let's try this one, it will be 10 picofarads. Yeah, 10.34, not bad. And we have now 100 picofarads, 99.19, also very close. Not so perfect like the resistors, but yeah, those are capacitators, it's different. Okay, 100 picofarads or 1 nanofarad, almost there also. And we have 10 nanofarads, 9.977, yeah, pretty close. Let's go to the tantalon. Uh, for that we have here 100 nanofarads. Let's see if I can get this in the, these little holes. 102.5 nanofarads and we have here one microfarad uh, yeah, yeah, yeah like this one yeah 1 0.015 yeah it, it's okay and we have another one that is 1000 microfarads let's see what we get, let me just, yeah, this is hard, man. Okay, so 1000, it's a bit off, yeah. Might be because of the, I believe it's because of the capacitator, not the tweezers, to be honest. And we have here 10K plus 10 nanofarads. Let's see what we get in here. 
capacitator 10 nanofarads very good we have also a diode and let's see first the inductor okay it detects automatically almost automatically the, the value 10 micro -Henry's. and we have a LED 11 picofarads uh, and also a diode but for those we have to change this let's use this uh, joystick move the joystick to the right let's see what this says in here eighty seven mega ohms and we have also ESR and let's try with open it says it's a diode and the direction and you can change this and it will give you let me oh god to enter these small holes it's a nightmare okay and it changed and finally let me see here if i can show you the diodes with light the leds with light okay so yeah it says it's 2.48 volts and you have there the light let's try something else like this small test this was a board i used only for testing the miniware uh, heat plate to 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 solder the components we have here some that are not well soldered but never mind that let's just try to to test some some components i will try first those yeah 2.57 volts lead another one i believe those are connected must be something related with this let's see yeah both are connected as you can see it's pretty easy to test components i have here also small leds i don't know if you are able to see the light yeah it seems 1.66 volts it detects perfectly let's move this again to the auto okay we have here i believe that are resistors let's see what we have with resistors in here Do, this has a lot of flux on the top but yeah one q 1k resistor uh, let me see if i can yeah those are 1k resistors i have here a f uh, 0402 components i don't know what they are let me see uh, i think they are resistors also let's see yeah 1k also those should be five percent error resistors as you can see it's pretty easy to to see to test on the boards we have other resistors here 12k yeah 12k and it's pretty neat automatically detects uh, the component type that i see this one seems to ah okay 12k also and finally we have here i believe it's um, capacitor capacitors yeah 86 nanofarads 80 nanofarads yeah pretty easy to to use let's test this on something more complex this is my raspberry one of my raspberries the model 3 i think or model 2 version so we have here a very small uh, components as you can see to be honest i have some difficulty to see them i 
I'm watching this on the camera. Let's see what they are. Okay, so this is a capacitor. 800 picofarads. Let's see the other one. This one it's 51 microfarads. We have here small ones. Let's see in here. So this is four microfarads capacitor. Let's see. 54 microfarads. Yeah, this works pretty well. I have here some resistors. And this is so small, I don't know if it, I can see it to test, to be honest. Let's see like this. What kind of resistors are those? Okay, 1K. As you can see, those are so small, I don't even know what's the measure of that. 1K almost also. 1K. And... Two, 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 one. Yeah, one K also. Okay, and I think this one is a inductor. Let's see if I can measure. Yeah, nine hundred nano Henrys. Yeah, okay. We have here a tantalum capacitor. Let's see how fifty-five microfarads another, another capacitor 77.75 okay so one more thing that I love about this kind of tools uh, and special these tweezers with those tips so sharp is uh, a simple thing uh, when I'm stressed or don't have anything to do I have a lot of those kits and if you notice you have uh, instructions uh, saying what you what is delivered and some schematics most of the time yeah some schematics of the of this kit this is a test kit something uh, simple but then they deliver the components in strips like this and you don't even know uh, what it is. Uh, most of the times you can identify if they are resistance, uh, resistors or capacitators, but don't, you don't know which one are the resistance and, and so on. And with these sharp tips, you just go here, insert, and here it is. Yeah, 1K resistors. Yeah, 350 picofarads. This is a capacitator too, also. Yeah, you get the idea. So with this, you don't even have to to take it off of the strip to know what it is. This one, I don't, I was, an, uh, they are so small, it's very difficult to grab even. But this one is 500 picofarads. As you can see, they are very small uh, components. Yeah, 500 picofarads. So now it's tear down time. Okay, this is this small screen, the joystick over here and the small connector to the board over there. In here we have the battery the socket connector. Yeah, let me zoom in to see better. Okay, I have here the board already uh, ready for inspection. I, I will not dig too, too much into this, it's just a curiosity. Uh, for, it, for what I understand, understood, this is the 340E USB to serial port chip. Um, this is from WCH. We have also here, and this one I, I, I'm really not sure, but I think this is the charge, the battery charger uh, protection uh, IC. We have also the, this one, 1CBT 
it's from Texas Instruments, a uh, device from Texas Instruments. I think this is the TLV743P. It's a low dropout regulator. And as you can see, the main IC, it's below this area. Uh, we cannot see what, what is operating this. And yeah, I don't care, to be honest. This seems to be a very nice product. Uh, Shannon is doing a, a very nice w job with this. I will now uh, close this and conclude this review. Shannon did a great job with these tweezers and the openness of the research and development using the community and EVV blog to get the feedback is a big plus. In terms of the product, I did enjoy working with it. It is very easy to operate. The precise calibration board that is also delivered with the tweezers is a big plus and allow you to have the tweezers always perfectly calibrated. The price is more or less the same you have uh, with other options available, considering the quality of the product and the features available. You have cheaper options in brands like Unity, but uh, the product will not even come close of what you have here. If you work with SMD, a tool like this is a must, not only to identify and test the components on a board, but also when you have strips of components and you don't know what they are. And since the tweezers tip is so sharp, you don't even need to take the component out of the strip to test it. Overall, and in my opinion, this is a nice product. And if you are considering to buy one, you have below in the description the direct link to the AliExpress Shannon store. And don't forget if you use the Shannon tweezers link on the description or the access links on the screen, you will be helping me to support the cost of the channel and, in general, make this project continue. Again, a huge thanks to the viewers that already use these links on their shopping on AliExpress, Amazon or Banggood. So if this video was useful to you in any way, please give a thumbs up and slap that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that bell to activate all notifications and be the first one to be notified whenever I post a new video. That's all for today. Thanks for watching until the end and I hope to see you in my next video. Cheers.